Let's work on today's technique. For more information, click on the link below. Welcome to Good Knit Kisses. We're all about helping you stitch your love and love your stitches. So we've got our DPNs, our double pointed needles, and uh, we will be working with only two needles at a time. It may surprise you, okay? So um, you're always gonna have a free needle, and then you will have needles that have stitches on them, okay? So when I say this is always free, it just means this is the needle you're using to work with. So stitches will constantly be, um, you'll be working with two at a time, making uh, all these stitches come over to this one, and then when this one is free, and this one's loaded up, you just take this one, and you move on to the next and that's really how DPNs work and then these basically act as stitch holders and you can divide your stitches evenly all right so we're gonna do a cast on here and all we need is one needle to begin with and I'm going to uh, do the same thing that I did before and I'm gonna get my long tail going wrap around five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to go through here. And now I measured out my tail. Okay, so I'm going to put my slip knot on. And I've got my tail toward me and the ball in the back. Okay, so we're going to do this again. We're going to take the tail part towards us around our thumb area. So we split that yarn here, pull it back and scoop up through the thumb, down through the finger, down through the thumb and pull it. Scoop up, down, down, scoop up, down, down. So it's the same thing. I did do it a little slower in the um, circular needle. And what I wanna do is get 20 stitches on here, okay? So do 20 stitches, pause your video as you need. 19, 20. I need to keep going and get 20 stitches on each of four needles. You can add on a few more and then stick a, a, a stitch marker in between here. There's a couple of different ways you can do this. This is just one of them. Okay, and then when this needle gets filled up, um, so I'm going to keep pushing more stitches on here, then I'm going to load these stitches onto this needle and kind of keep going. So I'm using this, this needle here to um, load all my stitches onto. So let's get as many as we can on here. Okay, so I've got a few of these stitches on here and I want to start uh, loading them over here. So just going to take a free needle and just slip them directly over. I'm not, I'm not putting them in knitwise or anything. This is called purlwise. So I'm just slipping it right through here and going across. Just slip all of your stitches up to the stitch marker. Okay, I'm removing this stitch marker here. All right, now, so you you may say, oh, it's a little harder to cast on here. All you have to do is just uh, grab your needle and slide it over and see how this stays connected here. So here we go. Uh, now that I've got a few more on here, um, you can see how um, I can actually go ahead and um, offload some of these stitches um, and even do it a little differently than I did before now that you kind of see it going. So let's grab another one. I'll show you another way you can do it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and slip them from this side. So slide it to this end and slip one, two, three. Okay, and let that stitch marker fall off. And of course it got trapped. <laughs> Okay, so now I've got 20 on these needles and then I can just slide this over and continue. And notice how I'm keeping this very straight. I'm not twisting. Uh, you've got all these this cast on area down here together. There's no twisting around. Like this would be if it was twisted around and um, we wanna keep it nice and straight. Okay, so keep going. 
three. Keep going until you have four needles with 20 on them. Thanks for joining us today, where we help you stitch your love and love your stitches. See you again soon.